Hello, my beautiful, gorgeous Leonine Leos, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to your weekly reading covering. Where are you? Okay, Wednesday, August 28th to Wednesday, September 4th, 2019. I am Natalie. Spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E -E of the Watch Natalie channel. I am psychic and today, my love, I read for you. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, we're going to be covering this week. You know that my readings are timeless. If something is resonating with you, all are part of this reading. I say something, you hear something, you see something, it resonates. Oh, that's me, that's my life. You hold on to it, you keep it, it's yours. If you get something that does not resonate, it's not your life, then pass it on. The next Leo will take care of it and it'll be theirs, okay? Leo, sun, moon, and risings. Okay. Everything you need to know is in the description box below and concerning resonance and other stuff. Make sure you watch your other um, sun, moon, or rising signs, weeklies and monthlies for the complete resonance. And if it is resonating, that means that it is an energy work video for you, which means that just by ingesting the vibrations of my voice, what I'm saying, the, the, the whole video, just taking it in and letting the vibrations hit, you are in effect, you are in effect doing the energy work. You are, you know, having the epiphanies, the realizations, the motivations, the insights that you need to have in order to alter yourself in order to change your molecular structure, change your vibration, raise your vibration, okay? If it is truly resonating, if it's not, then it's a Scooby Snack Day. It means that you're just here for the entertainment, you're here for the Scooby Snacks, and and yeah, that, there's nothing wrong about that, you know, just hanging out and, you know, seeing what's good with your other, Le what is this, your other Leo, your other Leos, okay, guys? All right, so let's get the party started. <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, it's allergies. And then I've been reading a lot today. Okay. What do we have good for the... Oh, this is weird. Okay. Leos. Yeah, someone's walking away from something. Generosity. Someone is walking away. Someone is being generous. Or receiving generosity. It could be... Excuse me, I'm sorry. It could be that some, you know what? Let me just keep, let me just keep it moving. Hold on. I want it one more card, please. For Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Sun, Moon, or Rising for the week. August 28th, please. <sighs> Leos, you're extremely generous people. You're very loving. You have the arguably some of the biggest hearts of the entire zodiac what is ending this week is too much generosity what's ending this week is an over an overzealous and overzealous or, or just you're just giving too much leos okay sun moon and the leo i'm connecting with the leo that i'm connecting with is just giving a little bit too much I could be connecting with a Leo that is receiving too much, and if so, that source of generosity will end. I feel like I'm connecting with a Leo who is giving too much of themselves, giving too much in a relationship, a job, a situation, and it is money. It is, it is over generous with your actual pentacles, okay? I'm connecting with a Leo who is, who is stepping back from that situation or that person who is sort of draining the resources and putting an end once and for all too. This is like a big end, like a real just, you know, Leos have these really big hearts, you guys, you do, and I, I, I really admire it. I really, it's, it's just, I love all the Leos in my life. Ugh. The real rays of sunshine. So to see a Leo walking away, it's got to be, you got to be really kind of at the limit, like at the limits, 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 limit for the Leo to sign, kind of put it, put it to bed and say, look, this is, this is too far. That's got to be really far. It really does. It's a relationship. It's a relationship that has gone...
It's a relationship that you gave and gave and gave and gave and gave and gave and gave. And, gave. and it could have depleted you to where you had nothing for yourself, Leo. That's what this could be here for some of you, okay? For some of you, that's option number one. Option number two is a part of your relationship is ending. And what gives birth is a much better way to relate to each other, a much healthier relationship, a much better give and take. That's option number two. And the last option for the Leo that I'm connecting with, I'm connecting with many Leos, sun, moons, and risings, is that this is a relationship that ends, that was based on transaction, a transactional type of relationship. And what comes out of that destruction is an entirely new relationship, okay? So those are your three different Leos that I'm connecting with this week, okay? Um, it feels like It feels like it took so much to walk away from this, Leo. It took it, it, it took a lot. Like I'm I'm telling you, it, it really was at the the hilt of everything. For the Leos that are in a new rebirth of relationship, it, you you wanted to you wanted to be the one to fix it. You wanted to be the one to fix this imbalance, to fix the problems, to fix everything. And if you just give and give and give and give and give you'll fix it and everything will be fixed and everything will be fine. It's not how it works. What end, what ends up happening this week for you, Leo, if that's the if that's your resonance, what's ending is also your your participation in enabling specifically and it's only in the death of that do you get what you want. Because you wanted to fix it by giving. And you had to learn that you had to walk away to get what you wanted. Okay? Actually, that's true for all of you, Leos. If this is resonating, if you are ending this relationship, you had to walk away to get a different relationship. If you are walking away from a behavior pattern where you give too much, you had to walk away for, for the birth of the new form of relationship to come around. Okay. Um, let me pull up your... Oh, it's not working. Never mind. Okay. Let's go ahead and get one more card. Where, where, where this goes, this, this lover's card. After the lover's energy here. This is a big week for you, Leo. Let's see, August, September. Yeah, it's your second house. The new moon is gonna be in your second house like in a couple of days. This is a big week for you, Leos. This is, this is the beginning of a new monetary cycle, a new second house cycle for you. So your, your house of money and wealth and resources, or not wealth, but it's just your money house. It's a money house. It's also your value system, what you value. Um, August, September, it's number two. You are going to put an end to giving too much. It's also going to be the beginning of perhaps even a new revenue stream for you, okay? For the Leo I'm connecting with. But either way, you are going to follow your intuition. You're going to follow your inner guide with this. You're going to follow your, what you know deep down. It could even be that this is a really beautiful transformation in a partnership that you are currently in and that it's a beautiful thing because now this relationship is going to be better bigger better than it than it was before okay you'll know if if this is a big walking away or if this is sort of a smaller a, I don't know, I to, it sounds weird to say a smaller walking away, Leo, but this could be a walking away, like a break, as opposed to a break up. 
But either way, you know that the walking away has to trigger this, has to trigger that end so that you can have a cleaner relationship, a cleaner, fresher start. Okay, Leo, we're going to take this over into the extended and clarify all of these cards, the five cards on my table. I invite you to join me on the flip side if this is resonating with you, only if this is resonating with you. If not, you know, have a great week and I'll see you tomorrow for the daily. For everyone else, I'll see you soon on the other side. Take care, all you guys. Oh my God, my tongue. Take care, Leos, my Leos, sun, moon, and risings. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. So you're leaving behind that inequality, that lack of balance, and you're moving towards getting it just right. It's not you controlling it, it's the cosmos. The universe has your back, so you have to let the universe do its job. And you walking away and, and giving it up to the universe is what triggers the healing to take place to begin with, okay? Just keep sinking your money into this is what it feels like, okay? It's all about this very first energy and then the rest of everything gets kicked off. So you watching this video is really to tell you how it goes after you walk away. It, for some of you, not for all of you, but for some of you, you could have been guilted verbally into giving more than you could. The hanged man has to have that moment of enlightenment. They have to have that moment where they, they have this epiphany that changes everything for them. And this week, this week you could have that, Leo. You could have that epiphany that, that makes you realize or that gives you the confidence to break apart this bondage, to break this, this wide open so that you can actually